We're gonna wear your boots, I think. Just a few moments ago, the Aspen Mountain Ski Patrol deemed the conditions too dangerous to hold America's uphill. While we are disappointed, your safety is our first concern. Give us a few days to get organized. Bottom line, avalanche danger is too high in the mountains right now. It's like the highest it's been in decades, so, so I've heard on the radio in different places. Like avalanche danger, very high in Colorado right now, so the race is canceled. I, 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 should I tell you what shoe I was going to wear? Well, that, that sign says uh, redstone, but you can't quite see it. We got some snow last night. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Here we are. All right, boys, since uh, the race was canceled today, guess what? What? You get to wear our bib numbers. How's that sound? You guys want the bib numbers? <laughs> Here you go. You get to wear the bib number so that it's like you're in the race. And guess what? I've got some energy goo thing. Does these sound good? Yeah. Come over here, come over here. Ready? These are like, they taste like candy. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. There you go, there's one. Cause we gotta get ready. <laughs> get ready for we, our big run. We gotta get ready for our big run. New running shoes. You want one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Joseph should get Joseph's and Seth should get Seth's. Right. <laughs> You want one more? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Yeah, who makes speed cross? So Solomon. Solomon! Seth, what shoes you Speed cross? Solomon! <laughs> Solomon speed cross. <laughs> Solomon speed cross. It's a Solomon kind of day. All right, I'm gonna tighten my shoes and we're gonna go run in here with the boys. Running, you gotta you gotta pace yourself. So you want to go slow at the at the beginning, okay? Yeah. And then we'll and then we'll ease into it. Uncle Joseph sat me down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Seth, you ready? All right, guys. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna run by that redstone sign. All right, nice and easy. All right, here we go. Woo! Nice and slow. <laughs> nice and easy. Good job. <laughs> we're getting we're getting smoked. Good job, guys. You got your bib numbers on? Okay, there you go. Nice and easy. Any pit stops? Nope. <laughs> there you go. Oh, stay out of the water. You guys, you get on this side. Nice, nice and easy. There you go. There you go. Good job, guys. You guys have good form. We've got a little side stitch to this situation. We are at elevation and it's cold out. So yeah, I can see that happening. Okay. Playground. You got your bib numbers? Yeah, let's see yours, Joseph.
Joseph, what'd you think of the Solomons on your first run? I love them! You love them! Woo! Did, did, you, did you slip at all? Uh, no. No slipping? Good. Good grip. Good grip. Guess what, Joseph? That was the best run of my life. Did you know that? Sharing that run with you? With my boy? My boys? We're back at the house, oh, drinking some hot coffee. Cheers, YouTube, and how crazy is it that last week, remember, what did we talk about? We talked about this. You know, we can keep it broad, but I'd be fascinated to hear, like, do you have a go-to mental strategy for dealing with disappointment? That's right, if you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out, talking all about disappointment in training, in, in racing, and in life. You know, things come up, situations happen, avalanches can happen, and in fact, we heard reports that there were some avalanches in the greater Aspen area this morning, not on the mountain, but just like around Aspen. So like, it's real up here. You gotta, you always gotta put safety first as a race director. So I think it was a smart call on the race director's part. Obviously though, we're disappointed. Like I was ready to rock and roll, baby. I put in a pretty solid two months of training uh, for the Cleveland Marathon, of course, like that's the big goal, that's the A race, the peak race, but I was, I was, I was ready for this. I was, I was feeling good, I was feeling confident. You know when you go into a race and you just have that edge mentally, like, I don't know who's gonna be able to hang with me, but obviously you don't know until you get to the starting line and lace it up and let it loose. So anyway, we move on. We, uh, in fact, yes, uh, remember my training schedule here? Uh, remember, you put, you put things in pen and then you also put things in pencil because sometimes your situation changes. So this is my training log for 2019. I like to write it all out, as you know, well, because I did not race today, I did not put forth a really hard effort, and today was gonna be a really hard effort. Um, basically, I'm gonna adjust things a little bit and take today as a rest day, tomorrow as a rest day, and probably get back on the saddle early next week because of this situation that has arisen uh, because the race was canceled this morning. So anyway, I'm gonna work right now on uh, adjusting things just a little bit and yes hop on the computer start looking for some other races you better believe it and I'm gonna get on Strava because this was canceled and yeah we're, we're disappointed um, I'm thinking of shooting for some FKTs so some fastest known times on the front range in the next you know so last week I was able to snag the uh, the Mount Morrison FKT so I'm thinking I'm you know Anyway, I, I'm just gonna put it out there. Mount Sinitas in Boulder. It's a tough one. It's a really stout FKT. So I'm, I'm gonna do some research right now on Strava. And you just, you gotta be flexible when these things happen. And um, I think we'll do, I think we'll do the keyword canceled. Ah, that's gotta be the keyword and it's okay. Like you just, you, you, you absorb it. Remember how you deal with, I deal with disappointment. You, you kind of mull over it for, Today was only like 30 minutes because then I went back to bed for three hours. But I mulled over it for like 30 minutes, kind of processed, and then you, you gotta cut it off and move on and start researching for the next races and FKTs. Oh, love you guys. Thank you for being here. That's pretty crazy. Like, it just happened. It happened. All right, diving in. Diving in. How'd we, how, how'd we do, everybody? How was it in the kids? It was so good. Do you want to see how big these slices are? It's the size of Joseph's head. That's how big these are. Imagine if they were the biggest. Imagine if they were the biggest. This is this is Joseph's truck. This is how this is how we feel about the race being canceled. <laughs> ah, safety third. <laughs> safety third. No. Nobody likes to get caught in an avalanche. 
and we just move on, right? YouTube family, you just, you, you embrace the, the disappointment, you embrace it, and then you gotta put it in the rear view mirror and you gotta move on. You see like my brother and I sharing a little, uh, <laughs> I don't wanna say a victory beer, but a, a, a move, move, move it along beer together at the kitchen table as we're researching, yes, researching more races for the future. Um, things just are gonna change a little bit now because this race was canceled. So I think I actually have a couple races already on my radar for the next six to eight, eight, six to eight weeks, which I will talk to you about tomorrow and uh, share with you what the game plan is gonna be moving forward between now and the Cleveland Marathon. So updated the training log today, that's always exciting. And did I tell you this morning, I don't think I even told you, which shoe was I going to race in? I was on the fence, I was on the fence, but at the end of the day, I was gonna go with the Innovate Arctic Claw 300. That's right, why? Not because of the micro spikes. I like the fit of the Speed Cross 5 better. I'll just put that out there. It was the lug depth, that's right. I think the lug depth on the graphene outsole of the Innovate Arctic Claw is is, is going to prove to be more durable than the Speed Cross 5. Like, I've put over, I think, over 200 miles into this shoe already. It's getting pretty close. And the lugs, yeah, they're already, you know, they're starting to wear out just a teeny tiny bit. So, the lug depth is what was going to draw me in the direction of the Innovate Arctic Claw 300. And didn't get to put them through the paces today, but guess what? The sun will rise tomorrow, right? The sun will rise tomorrow. Let's hope, let's hope, right? Let's hope, no. All right, the question of the day. Have you ever had a race canceled on you? If so, what was the situation? What was the scenario? Walk us through it. Tell us a good story down in the comments. I've been running for 20 years, and this is the first time for, that I can remember that a race was canceled straight up canceled so I'm sure if like maybe you live in Kansas and like tornado warnings are going off and they have to call off a race or maybe you live I don't know in like uh, Florida and there's like a hurricane coming like situations happen all around the world volcanoes who knows like anyway if you were scheduled to run a race and it was canceled let us know what the situation was Oh my goodness, that, seriously, for, first, like, I ran th in cross-country races in high school with, like, two to three, four inches of snow on the ground. Like, anyway, this is, it just blows my mind that this happened today, but listen, avalanches are avalanches. You don't want to be messing with that. You don't want, I don't want to be, I don't want to be messing with an avalanche. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We're going to make it. We're going to make it, YouTube family. Hold your head up high. Hold your head up high. See you tomorrow.